How did you form your lesson plans? Um, well, first the global debate team came and spoke to me and said what they were looking for, what the message was. Um, and then we looked at the curriculum and we saw how we could try and fit the two together. And then it was just a matter of brainstorming ideas of how the curriculum would fit in the message. Um, how did you make the issue of climate change relevant to the students? Um, well, the key was, I think, to use popular culture. Um, we use songs and we use video clips that the students, some of them they produced, but some of them were from popular culture which they could relate to. So that made it more accessible. What was the student response like and what did you think about it? Um, it was good actually. I think it really worked the fact that they could make a poster which they were going to put up because that made it more meaningful for them. So the overall response is quite positive. Um, how would you expand or extend on your lesson plan? Um, obviously, practical work would be enjoyable, like the Global Debates Project, or getting them to actually go out into communities and do a practical side to the actual concepts we discussed in class. Okay. Um, did you, do you think that the issue of climate change is emphasised on enough in education systems worldwide? Um, not worldwide, no. Um, it's very difficult to get a school, for example, in South Africa where the children don't have enough to eat and the teachers aren't trained adequately to be that concerned about climate change when, it's, when their primary needs aren't actually being met. So not worldwide, no, but there is definitely a far greater awareness of it worldwide than when I was at school, for example. Um, what do you feel would be the best way to tackle the issue of climate change in Malaysia by means of education? Um, definitely we need a lot more education, especially considering recycling programs and things aren't really that big here. Um, and I think the media really needs to get involved. The shops are starting to try with the whole reusable bags thing, but it's still very, very new. So I think if we start driving it more from primary school level upwards and bringing it into the curriculum, for math, science, and all the popular subjects, then I think eventually it will filter upwards into the wider culture. Okay. Um, as a teacher, do you feel both sides of the argument for both for and against climate change should be taught? Well, of course. But to be critical, you have to acknowledge that some people are using the very serious issue for their own benefit. And only to be fair, you have to consider both sides if you want to make a sound judgment on the topic. Um, so what do you personally feel about climate change? It's worrying. <laughs> um, it's sometimes it's a frustrating issue because to first of all get people to do things and to get enough people to do things is a big problem. But I think we've definitely come a huge way and I, I reckon we're going to sort it out if you look at the number of people who are now working on the problem and the, the kind of motivation there is now from all sectors.